We all have heard of people robbing banks just to get a few hundred dollars. I read about this one guy who used to steal checkbooks from people's mailboxes and then fake their signatures to withdraw funds. I guess he used to plan it all very well just for a few hundred dollars. Then there are people who rob banks with bigger goals, like they want to steal thousands of dollars. To do this, they buy bank login credentials from underground markets and steal money from those accounts. This sounds easy, but making a deal with the right cyber criminal in the underground markets is not an easy task. But for some people, that still isn't enough. They have even bigger bank robbery ambitions. They want to score a few million dollars, and that kind of job is not easy. You have to plan it just right. It's not like knocking over an armored bank truck. It usually takes a lot more resources and skill to pull off this kind of million dollar robbery where they rob the bank indirectly by scamming its customers. This is a story about a group of cyber criminals who are breaking into bank accounts with a new, never seen before trick and without getting caught. In recent years, speaking to voice interfaces has become a normal part of our lives. We interact with voice-enabled assistants in our cars, smartphones, smart devices, and during telephonic banking. More banks around the globe are using voice biometrics. Voice biometrics is a technology used to match personal voice patterns and verify the speaker's identity in seconds using just voice. To identify a person, voice biometrics technology captures a person's voice and compares the captured voice characteristics to the characteristics of a previously created voice pattern. If the two match, then the voice biometric software will confirm that the person speaking is the same as the person registered against the voice pattern. Once the customer has created their voice authentication pattern, when they dial the bank, they just type their account, customer or card number, and repeat the phrase, my voice is my password, or my voice is my signature. Then he can access his telephone banking account where he can make transactions more securely. According to the different bank websites, voice biometrics is very secure, and like the fingerprint, the voice is unique. But cyber criminals are using voice biometric spoofing attacks, also known as voice cloning or deep fake, to break into people's bank accounts. Using these attacks, they use presentation attacks, including recorded voice, computer-altered voice and synthetic voice, or voice cloning, to fool voice biometric systems into thinking it hears the real authorized user and grants access to sensitive information and accounts. In simple words, they clone the voice of bank customers by artificially simulating a person's voice. Further in the video, you can see how voice is cloned and how voice spoofing attacks are done. Today's AI systems are capable of generating synthetic speech that closely resembles a targeted human voice. In some cases, the difference between the real and fake voice is imperceptible. Let's see if you can make out the difference between Trump's real and cloned voice. Make America great again. Make America great again. Were you able to find out the difference between the two? Let us know in the comments section which voice is real. These scammers are not just targeting public figures, including celebrities, politicians, and business leaders, but the reality is that they target anyone who has a bank account. They use online videos, speeches, conference calls, phone conversations, and social media posts to gather the data needed to train a system to clone a voice. And banks are not their only target. They are using it for a new breed of phishing scams that exploit the fact that a victim believes they are talking to someone they trust. Last year, a UK-based CEO was tricked into transferring more than $240,000 based on a phone call that he believed was from his boss. These scammers, armed with voice clones, are using phone calls and voicemail. And the attacks aren't just threatening businesses. In a new breed of the grandma scam, criminals are posing as family members who need emergency funds. Let's see how these scammers work through the eyes of cybersecurity experts. Scammers have become smarter, and regular people like you and me can fall for their scams. Today I'll share with you a new type of scam that it's attempting to exploit the voice authentication feature in telephone banking services. Some of our subscribers have informed us of calls they are receiving from their banks where without confidential questions asked in the identification process, they are allowed to make transactions just with the account number or the card number. So how can transactions be made over the phone 
with only basic information provided. Let's listen to this scam call that one of our subscribers shared with us. Welcome to We remind you that your personal data is used according to our privacy policy which you can consult in www.scam.com or in any of our branches. We have detected fraudulent charges of $1,000 by Amazon in your account. This is an automated call to cancel charges in case you do not recognize them. We remind you that this call is being recorded for quality and security purposes. Important warning. We confirm that Scott will never request for user information or passwords or updation of know your customer data through the internet, telephone, email or SMS. For more information go to the security section in www. Dot com. Please enter the 16 digits of your card oh, or damn. the 11 Where digits the of card? your account number or your customer identification number. Your card number is invalid. Please enter the 16 digits of your card or the 11 digits of your account number or your customer identification number. To confirm your identity after the tone, say the phrase, my voice is my password. Press any key when you finish. My voice is my password. Your identity has been confirmed. To cancel unrecognized charges dial 1. To approve charges dial 2. To speak to an executive dial 9. Dear customer, we inform you that at this moment the waiting time is higher than usual. Thanks for your understanding. To cancel unrecognized charges dial 1. To approve charges dial 2. To speak to an executive dial 9. We are validating your information. Please wait on the line. Thank you for waiting. Your cancellation has been approved. A service request number of the cancellation request will be sent to you by SMS message. Your cancellation request has been completed. Have a nice day. Did you hear that? This is an automated call that in order to gain trust from the clients, they call from the official numbers of the banks. And they sound just like them. To verify his identity, he was asked for his account number, his card number, and his voice authentication phrase. But how are they using voice cloning to break into bank accounts? Further on in the video, you can see an expert breaking into one. Cyber criminals have started using deep fake voices to spread misinformation and fake news. Imagine if somebody publishes a fake voice call of some public figure to sway public opinion. Or, consider how manipulated executive or public figure statements could affect the stock market. Deep fakes are also being used to create fake evidence that impacts criminal cases. Or, for blackmailing people in cases where manipulated video and audio of people doing or saying things they didn't do or say. Voice cloning technology is not an evil technology. It has many positive and exciting use cases, like education. Cloning the voices of historical figures offers new opportunities for interactive teaching and dynamic storytelling in museums. Audiobooks. Celebrity voices can be used to narrate books, and historical figures can tell their stories in their own voices. Assistive technology. Voice cloning can be used to assist persons with disabilities or health issues that impact their speech. How deep fake voice cloning is done. Everyone who has interacted with Apple's Siri, Amazon's Alexa, or car navigation systems has experienced synthetic speech. Today, artificial intelligence and deep learning are advancing the quality of synthetic speech. With as little as a few minutes of recorded sample voice, Developers can use it to train an AI voice model that can read any text in the target's voice. There are a variety of AI tools, which enable virtually any voice to be cloned. Some of these are Resemble.ai, 
allows custom AI-generated voices from a speech source. It creates realistic text-to-speech voices with AI, which is five minutes of sample voice. You can try it for free. Resemble supercharges your synthetic voice with a text-to-speech generator. iSpeech. It is a high-quality text-to-speech and speech recognition tool. You can generate anybody's voice in 27 languages. Fact. Employees who are auditory learners train faster and more effectively. Descript Lyrebird AI. Allows creating a digital voice that sounds like you just from a small audio sample. It is a free plan that allows generating three hours of speech. Vera Voice. It uses machine learning technology to create super realistic voice clones of any person. They claim that they need just an hour of audio data to train neural networks to generate a new voice. Google's Takatron and WaveNet. These systems from Google can generate speech which mimics any human voice and which sounds more natural. It needs text and sample voice data to generate a human-like voice. SV2 TTS. There are some good free tools like these which allow voice cloning with pre-trained models. While these can be used to generate speech using arbitrary text from one of a few hundred voices, it can also be fine-tuned to generate speech in an arbitrary voice using arbitrary text. It's important to note that these tools were not created for the purpose of fraud or deception, but the reality is that business and consumers need to be aware of new threats associated with online AI voice cloning software. How to detect voice cloning Voice anti-spoofing, also called voice liveness detection, is a technology capable of distinguishing between live voice and a voice that is recorded, manipulated, or synthetic. Many deep fakes can be detected by AI-based software trained to identify artifacts that aren't present in a live voice. But it seems banks don't have this technology, as voice authentication used by many banks can be bypassed easily. See what our expert has to say. See the complete video of our expert cracking voice biometrics of banks by clicking on the link in the top right corner. This bank is the sixth largest bank in the world it's in North America, South America, Asia, Africa, and Europe. Let's see. As you have seen, by just having the phrase and the account number, I was able to bypass the security of the voice authentication. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and support us on Patreon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new video updates.